Good morning, Trade as well. Australian and Asian indices are looking to open solidly in the green in a little while. Um, following on from the lead on Wall Street, where US indices were firmly higher on Thursday with a, a big tech bias. Uh, NASDAQ outperformed, rallying 1.5%, uh, lifted by the likes of NVIDIA, Amazon, and uh, particularly Netflix, which saw almost a 10% rally after a positive ad tier subscriber update. Um, strong data releases, well, I guess good news is good news now, and, and more hawkish than expected slew of Fed speakers, but not, not enough to dampen a, a market enthusiasm. Jobless claims, uh, jobless claims came in less than expected uh, at 242,000, which is a, a big drop from the previous 262,000. Um, Fed governors Logan, Jefferson and Bullard, uh, they all came out with a more hawkish than expected tone on um, the Fed's fight against inflation. That, that saw rate hike odds for June uh, jumped to 36% when it was only priced in at 20% the day before. FX markets, uh, US dollar rallied quite strongly, hitting uh, dollar index hit two months highs on that strong data, the hawkish Fed speak, um, and a rally in uh, US bond yields as well. Um, the dollar is pretty much following those bond yields and rate hike expectations almost tick for tick. So um, might be some limit to the upside from here unless we get another catalyst such as uh, the, uh, some debt ceiling shenanigans, I suppose. Um, Aussie and Kiwi saw losses against the greenback. Uh, the Aussie was particularly labor, laboured after a much weaker than expected employment figure yesterday and a rise in the unemployment rate. So Aussie dollar hit a low of 66.06, found some support near the bottom of, of that recent range it's been uh, it's trading in. Commodities, gold, the gold route continued. Uh, XAU, USD, Again, pressured rising yields, strong US dollar, uh, risk appetite returning to the markets. Just saw it crashing through that support at 1975. Uh, didn't really find any buyers until it tested the April lows there at 1952 US dollars an ounce. Uh, today's economic announcement is pretty light on the ground, uh, but we do have both Jerome Powell and, uh, of the Fed and Christian Lagarde of the ECB speaking later in the session. Um, Jerome Powell's will be particularly Interesting, considering how hawkish his uh, his governors have been in the last couple of days. So um, that one certainly has the ability to, to get the markets moving, I think.